Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. Have you heard the name Steve Weber before? Well, if you're into portable radios and hiking, you probably have. <laughs> Steve uh, designed a bunch of uh, portable radios. I mean, the list is probably longer than an LA Gangbangers rap sheet. Uh, <laughs> And they are all excellent designs. Uh, some are called the MTRs, Mountain Top Radio. And if you watch my videos, uh, you've probably seen uh, a couple of them. I've built three, uh, the original two-band radio, the three-bander and the five-bander. I lost them all, but fortunately, Elena Precision is now selling the uh, three-band radio. There is a new four-band radio and the uh, five-bander also. Uh, Steve Weber designed a bunch of other radios. I can think of the uh, PFR3, the uh, Weber Survivor, the Weber Tribander, all available, by the way, uh, at uh, qrpkits.com. And I have nothing to do with them. I'm just <laughs> letting you know where to find them. Uh, I think that um, qrpguys.com also has a radio from Steve. Uh, don't remember which one, but he's designed a bunch of them. And last year, he uh, released a uh, kit called the uh, Soda Pop. It's a single band radio, also surface mount components. There were only uh, about a hundred made and they sold in about an hour. <laughs> Fortunately, I was waiting, waiting for the release and uh, I caught it just on time and I was able to, uh, to get one. It's for the uh, 40 meter band. I chose the 40 meter band and built it. I don't have any footage of it, but uh, now I need to put it in a case and uh, get out and operate it. Let's have a look.
I'm a big fan of the Hammond cast aluminum cases and I chose one for the soda pop. It's the uh, 1590U. It's quite a bit bigger than I thought it would be but measurements don't lie and it's just about the right size. I chose a deeper case so that I could place batteries at the bottom. I have my cover here and uh, I printed out a drilling template which is in the manual by the way and I would have loved to have that for the QCX but uh, it didn't have it. Uh, it has 140 pages manual but uh, the Weber has 16 pages but it does have a drilling temp template which is great. I need to make a pilot hole from the other side and then I will be able to uh, drill the other holes. I will scotch tape uh, this template on the cover and drill right through it. Not a bad day for the end of November. You see my antenna here, the hybrid micro with the whip. It's a little bit windy, it's about 7 degrees Celsius. And I have a uh, 10 meter counterpoise here, attached to a little table over there. So here's how I'm going to be operating. The antenna is outside over there, and uh, I'm in the kitchen. I have the Yellowcraft T1 tuner. Of course the uh, Weber soda pop, a little bit of uh, display for the voltage and the power is 318 650 cells. I have my computer because uh, I don't have the manual for the radio so the manual is in the computer and of course my Kent key.
Yes. That's the end. Well, I pleased he found that amusing. Oh, it's a lot of people trying. But this is a very quiet receiver. I really like uh, how this radio turned out and I love those Harman cases. Cast aluminum, very strong. It's something that you wouldn't find in a commercially available radio and that's awesome. Uh, this radio works really well. Of course I had the uh, very short antenna so the contacts were mm -mm, but I know it's working fine. Sometimes you put something in a box and it worked before and <laughs> you put it in a box and bing it doesn't work anymore and uh, sometimes you make a short or you bend the board a little bit there is a solder joint that doesn't make contact anymore and your radio doesn't work so it's always a happy moment when uh, you put it in the box and it's, it's still working now don't ask me where you can buy one of these because you can't steve weber made about a hundred of them and they're not available anymore it was a short number of kits limited series he did, however, include a previous version of the board only uh, with each kit that is sold. So some people have boards out there. Uh, they have errors in them, but it's still possible to build a kit from these boards. And if you go to the uh, 80s print Yahoo group, you can probably uh, post uh, a request there for uh, you know someone who would be willing to uh, sell you his board but it's not an easy kit it's surface mount components you would have to gather all the components by yourself the correct sizes and uh, the soldering those little tiny uh, integrated circuits is very difficult so it's not a good kit for a starter but other kits like uh, say uh, uh, the qcx or the one water or the new uh, resurrected SW30 and 40. I'll tell you more about uh, this one very soon. I have one uh, that I'm starting today. I just wanted to show you how I put a uh, kit inside a box and how that works. Uh, note that something to really have, it's really useful, is a drill press because it's really practically impossible to make a straight hole with a hand drill. Now, don't make holes the way I do it sometimes because it's not good. Uh, I have to, you know, sometimes I have to hold the case because uh, the case walls here are not... See, there is a bit of an angle here. So when you drill, first of all, the case is at an angle when it's resting and then you drill it 
and this is at an angle as well so uh, everything is crooked so sometimes I just hold the case a bit like this and I drill but that's not the way to go <laughs> that's not the way to do it but it works somewhat so uh, everything fits and uh, I'm really glad it does I had to uh, of course make a square rectangle hole here and you do that with a file after or well, you saw it and that's all I wanted to show you today have a good one